Hi, Thomas the Hermit here, and I am a hermit, a man of prayer, and I also do YouTube, and I have a group page on Facebook called the Humble Holy Laity. Anyways, this is a this is a uh, this is a rebuke to Dr. Taylor Marshall. I do not care about his pedigrees. I do not care what he thinks he is. Maligning and attacking Malachi Martin was a really bad move. Now I want to ask you viewers something. And I want you to think about something for a minute. Now, Malachi Martin has been a single voice in the wilderness calling out what is currently happening to us. He has been sounding the alarm, you know, for what, 40 years? And, and who, who are his enemies? He has had enemies from the beginning. The whole Jesuit order is his enemy because he left them to be a whistleblower. Now the Jesuits, as you know, are some of the smartest people on the face of the earth. So what do you think that they did to go out of their way to attack the reputation of Malachi Martin? Think about it. Now what is it that you think Malachi Martin actually did? You know, all this stuff about him living with the woman and stuff like that. Haven't you people ever heard of living with a woman like she is your sister? Huh? You don't think he did that? Prove to me that he didn't. Were you there? Did you see what they were doing? Why are we so quick to pass judgment on Malachi Martin? He has been the voice that has called out and we need to believe what Malachi Martin says. We don't need to believe what the Vatican says. And here's what I have to say to bishops, priests, and the Vatican. This is what I'm telling you, okay? You think that, that you are not a part of the problem. Yes, if you are not saying anything, if you are not standing up against what is happening to our church, then you are an accessory to the crime. That's right, you're an accessory to the crime. There's a crime happening, there is an agenda that has been let loose, it has been let loose by people who can't live up to the teachings of Jesus Christ. Who are those people? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know that there is a homosexual network within the church. You know that. We all know it. That has compromised the church along with a lot of elite thinkers like the Jesuits. And they are in key positions and they are destroying our church. Who is Father Martin? Father Martin is the biggest advocacy for gays in the, in the Catholic Church and he was appointed as head of communications in the Vatican. Now if you don't want to tell me there's not something wrong with the Vatican and what is going on, you are completely wrong and Malachi Martin has been the voice that has been warning us forever. Did Pope John Paul I get poisoned? I don't know. But Malachi Martin was in the middle of that stuff. You don't think they would want to cover up the fact that a pope got poisoned? Come on, they're covering up everything all the time. They're afraid us laity can't handle it. And you're darn right that I'm angry. We should all be angry. We should have a righteous anger. We need to continue to say no. We're going to say no to this watering down of our faith. We are going to follow our faith more diligently than they ever have. We are going to stand up in a way that they never stood up. They have misled us. They have been doing this for some 40, 50 years. And, and I'm calling them out on this. And I'm saying, Dr. Taylor Marshall, knock it off. If you are on our side, then act like it. And you need to retract what you're saying about Father Malachi because you're not helping the situation. Father Malachi is the single voice that is opening up the truth to what was going on. He's the only one who could know. He was right in the middle of it. He saw everything that was going on. He saw what the Jesuits were doing. 
He saw what was happening in, in, in the papacies of John Paul II, John the XXIII, and Pius VI. Why do you think that he doesn't have a right to speak? And even if he did something wrong, so what? He has more of a right to speak than Father James Martin. Don't you agree, Dr. Taylor? Anyways, this is Thomas the Hermit. Say a prayer for me. I am praying for you, and I will talk to you later.